My name is Rapsy, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's time to go with the Ironclad. Let's go. Oh, all right. Hello again. Uh, loose all call for max HP. No, let's go for the potions. Not great potions, to be fair. Uh, we could duck along these and then choose whether or not we want a shop. That's actually kind of good. Oh, ooh, that's a really good path. Okay. Starts here. Good. We can divert from it if we don't really have anything that we want from a shop as well. Okay. I accept six damage here because I'm assuming that I'm just not going to take any damage over the rest of the rest of the fight. And that looks like it's probably going to happen. Give me a like any two attacks and I'll be grand. Actually, you know what? I needed three if they were only strikes, but still. Um, uh, let's take cleave. I usually don't have AOE early enough to actually protect myself as this character. So why not get some AOE in early? Since I just picked up a cleave, I'll lose a strike. All right, Curse of Doubt. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to go to the shop and pick up... Ooh, Darkstone. I want it. I want it a lot. Sure. Whenever I get a curse, I'm going to be increasing my HP. By, uh, my max HP, that is. By six. And I'm going straight down as many different lines. For, oh, fuck. That would be remove a card. That would be so good. Uh, I'm going straight down a bunch of question marks. So I'm going to get a fair amount of... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to get a fair amount of... If I can remember the name of him for the life of me. God damn it. Right. Curses. It's unfortunate that I just have doubt active right now. But at the very least, I've got a uh, vulnerability on my opponent to kind of mitigate it. No defense here because I don't want to enrage the enemy because I don't know exactly how much longer I'm going to be in this fight. Triple strike's pretty good. Yep. All right. I uh, my next hand just have to have bash and uh, and another attack. Yep. All right. That worked out pretty well. Gambling ship is an amazing trinket. Trinket relic. Uh, at the start of each combat. Discard as many cards as you want, and then draw that many. So you can guarantee that your opening hand is excellent. I kind of want to take armaments. Uh, You know what? I'm going to take ghostly armor. Because I'm going to try and get my defense handled a lot earlier than I usually do. Mummy, mummified hand, that means now... I have all of my eyes, that's right, both of them, on the idea of going for a... Oh, two bosses? Or more question marks. Uh, on the idea of going for a power-based build. So power cards are now way more effective in my mind. Well, in my mind, they're way more effective. We'll stop. Beautiful. Full defense as well as uh, double attack. Or rather, double energy used for attack. Only a single attack, bash. I don't want to double defend cleave. Yeah. All right. If you defend this turn, we're going to be in a really good position. Uh -uh. But maybe I could kill? No. And it's going to get harder now because I'm weakened. Yikes. At the very least, I got bash. Uh, Bash for six and then six. Yeah, no, I've got lethal. Whew. Just had to quickly calculate that one out. And I really don't want Flame Barrier because it costs two. I'm going to throw all of these. All right. Do I want to fight two bosses? Or do I want to have these points that I hit up? I'm going to go for the question marks. And the thing that broke it for me is uh, the possibility of getting relics and then those relics giving me good effects via the Darkstone Periapt. That's the what broke the tie. 
Also, I don't really have like huge aggressive hits. I'm throwing all of those because I want to draw my, yeah, my worst cards. So that I leave my better hand later. Don't really have a better hand leaving later though there. Um, I'm actually going to let Ghostly Armor expire here. <clears throat> and reason for that is I probably won't really want to draw it past this point. Yeah. Good. It's just diluting my deck from the attacks that I really need. Fiendfire is a really powerful card. I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to keep it as a finisher. Seeing as I just got it as well, I'm going to upgrade it immediately. And... This is good. Anger the Mushroom, sure. Give myself a Relic. So I got two Relics by going left. I would have gotten two Relics by going right as well. That's, that's the big difference. That's the big difference in that it's the same. Keep Ghost Armor. Yeah, we'll keep Ghostly Armor. Okay. <clears throat> Cop two damage here. More than fine with that. Um... I mean, we go for that hit, and then we can start weakening one. Easily done there. Next hand easily could get the double kill. Uh, Cleave especially will do it. But even without it, triple strike. Beautiful. Odd Mushroom, when vulnerable, take 25% more damage rather than 50%. Pretty big. I'm going to take another Ghostly Armor, and that's going to be, in my mind, all of my defense handled. I don't want to upgrade Bash because I do want to remove it from my deck. But at the same rate, I really don't have big hits at the moment. So having another turn of vulnerability is pretty, pretty big. My deck doesn't really have a theme right now. It just has a lot of good cards and even better trinkets. All right, I'm going to try and Fiends fire a lot of the things out of my deck that I don't want. Good. Okay. Yeah, the rest of my deck has pretty high quality. I was fine with burning two defends there because I have the... Only because I have the d -d -d ghostly armors. The problem with having two ghostly armors is you might play one of them and that's enough. Thankfully here, I actually did need both of them. Uh, in which case, the other one's just going to burn itself. That said, since you know one out of ten cards in my deck is weaken, I'm I'm gonna have some problems with being weak basically every turn. I shouldn't have done that. I should have played the ghostly armor there. That's totally my bad. I was only dealing ten damage. There was no way I was actually gonna deal any damage to the actual guardian there. Gonna need to go for the attacks when I have the ability. Because this weaken is gonna really corrupt me. Ooh, but it's being counteracted by the red skull there. Weaken for another two turns. Yikes. I got 11 HP left. If I can overkill the enemy by 12, that's not ridiculous. Ten, it's yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright. Never mind. Boom. Overkill by 12. Alright. Woo! Another energy potion, not really the kind of thing that we want in our deck, but we also don't really want decks, so sure. 
Uh, I kind of want to go Berserk. Now, here's the thing. If I go for Berserk, then I have the possibility of capitalizing off of the fact that I have Mummified Hand. So it's usually going to be free to play Berserk, right? Um, and then when it's zero cost, when I upgrade Berserk, it's just going to make the rest of my hand cheaper. And when I'm in the region with Red Skull, for it to be active, I'm going to be going off. All right. I'm going to take it just because I have Mummified Hand, basically. And here I'm going to take the card question. Question card, rather. Uh, give myself more choice. Automaton is who we're fighting at the end. That's not too bad. Bunch of questions, then a rest, then a boss. Rest boss. Uh, I mean, this gives me four. Gives me four questions over the course. Or I could have five, two bosses, and a camp. All right, we're sticking here left. So there's a good run at the start there on the right side, but ultimately the left si uh, side is better here. Give me the other curse. Yeah! All right. We're going to play Ghostly Armor, and then we're going to Fiend. So I'm protected, and I've removed both of the curses from my deck. Fiend's Fire working out excellently. Sure. Uh, Crumbs, I do need to play Ghostly Armor. Do I? Yeah, I do. Do I? I mean, if I wanted to do anything to my enemy. I really do want to get a bash on the enemy right now. But it's going to have to be like bash ghostly armor against the 10. All right, there's bash ghostly armor against the 10. All right, well, you see, sometimes things work out how you want them to. Sometimes. Ugh. I think I'm actually going to use an energy potion here so that I can double defend as well as triple strike. Because this fight is not going to get much easier over time. I need to start working down that plated armor. Bash and then cleave for 16. So it's 16, 16. It's not going to be lethal. And I take three damage right now. Didn't even think about that. God damn it. 26. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. I don't want to have to take all this damage. I need single big hitting cards. I don't have any single big hitting cards like, you know, uh, hemokinesis. I could use Pommel Strike as like a reasonably big hitting card, but mostly just to get me through my deck. Alright. Because after I burn everything out of my deck, I have a very, very lean deck. So I can work with that. If I get like a Rampage in here, we can work with that. Lame. Actually, you know what? I'm going to draw. See if I can get the Fiend's Fire. Yeah! Goodbye. Yeah, it went pretty well. Elixir is actually quite handy. Uh, Armaments? I mean, I will have a lean deck. I'm taking an Armaments, especially because it's upgraded. If it wasn't upgraded, I might not No, if it wasn't upgraded, I wouldn't have taken it. I definitely wouldn't have. Remove all strikes, gain five bites. At this point, that's good. A little later and that wouldn't be acceptable anymore. I desperately want Matroshka plus the marbles, but I can't get both. I'm definitely taking Matroshka. I guess I'm removing a card from my deck then. Um, let's remove Doubt. Finally, I've removed out. 
huge weight off my shoulders. The problem is now the... <sighs> Damn it. 85 and I miss out on a relic. Shh. Lame. Uh, we now need to upgrade all of the bites, but the first thing is Berserk so that I get to play it for free. And then it just makes something else cost less. Really wanted Fiend's Fire. Okay. Uh, I guess it's Armaments Double Bite. Lose Ghost Armor. <clears throat> God, if I can get Magic Flower, we are just clear. Uh, okay, Pommel Strike for free. Then Fiend's Fire will be 55. No, it'll be lethal, of course. Forgot about the fact that the enemy was vulnerable there. Fiend's Fire as a finisher is ridiculous. None of that is good for me. I'm not going to go to the camp because I don't really want to upgrade my cards unless it's like 100%, like 1,000% necessary. <laughs> Cursed Decay, and that's going to give me more max HP than Sacrifice. Sure. Okay, Duvu Doll. Fuck yes, that's what I was looking for. Now we're getting stronger with all these curses we have in our deck, and obviously now we don't want any other curses to be removed. Uh, I'm going to throw all of that. I'm always going to be pommel striking, so we'll do that first. Bye. Beautiful. <clears throat> We've got a strength build. We definitely have a strength build. I mean, I kind of just want to burn this hand right now. Because they're not really going to be cards that are helpful to draw from now on. Thankfully, I've got two elixirs, so I can remove these wounds from my deck. But the thing is, I'm going to have to draw them first, and that's going to suck. I'm accepting a lot of damage here. On faith that I will be able to deal with it. I have one HP now. This is probably the worst enemy I could come up against right now. Like, ugh. Yeah, uh, I actually can't defend myself against that. The thing is, this enemy can just outspeed you. And without any, like, single big hits in my deck, like, 10 is our biggest hit. I can't really stop you. The single big hit that I have in my deck is, is Fiend's Fire, but it wasn't... It wasn't working for us there. It's a shame, because that deck... That deck had, like, a lot of foundational groundwork that would have made an excellent run. Full stop. I really like offering. <sighs> Limit Break can be game-breaking, though. But only if you get the build for it. Whereas offering is always good. Alright, I'm taking offering. The easiest line I've ever seen in my life. It's ducks. It's a zigzag left and right. Okay. If you try and do the power up on the next turn, we are in it. Nope, that's a seven attack. Damn. Got to defend a little. Another seven? God damn it. Calm down, buddy. Oh, 
All right. Seven damage to me through that. Maybe I go with a perfected strike build. Sure. Usually the problem with perfected strike build is you can't maintain the energy for it. So I guess at this rate, I'm act the only thing I can remove is defense. Ah, oh, upgraded a good card there. As well as a defend. So, this is going to be... I mean, I've already... It's it's already 20 minutes into the episode, so I can't really do, like, a whole new full run. I mean, if, if this run takes off, I will. But this run is going to be a lot more risky because it might work. But it also might crash and burn really, really quickly. Going to upgrade Perfected Strike first. I don't think I'm going to go for the two bosses. I don't think I'm that greedy. I mean, I am, but I'm not going to be. Okay. Bash Perfected Strike. It's unfortunate that uh, I don't already have you vulnerable. Because I'm not going to be able to bash you now. I have to Perfected Strike. It's too strong not to. My next turn is just Double Strike. I'm probably going to toss in that Defend as well. The upgraded one, obviously. Give me perfected strike. Um, that's lethal. All right, bronze scales. Really wants me to go for a different build with that. Seeing red is actually really, really good. Again, mana is our problem. I'm not going to go for the boss over on this side. I'll choose after this space whether or not go <laughs> whether or not I go for the shop. So I guess I'm not going to. I don't want to get Flash of Steel. I would get either Feed or Happy Flower if I could afford either, but I can't, so I won't. I'll go for Flash of Steel. And now I'm definitely not going to the shop. Goya! Oh, ho! Okay. This is, uh. Haha. <laughs> Should have done that in the other order, but it didn't matter. This is going to be interesting. As far as runs go, it's going to die very quickly when it dies, or it's not going to die at all. Those are the two options. There's nothing in between. See red. We'll flash of steel you. I guess I do have to kill one of you, so I'll kill the one that's dealing more damage. Yikes. Pump up with the Goya every single time I get to a campfire. I can't afford to use Offering here. I need, like, meat on the bone. Meat on the bone would make this build so much more powerful. Alright. Heavy Blade is going to be really powerful soon. Kind of want to take Bloodletting as well. I'm going to take Heavy Blade. Here we go. Lift. Start battle with one extra strength. Let's get Vajra as well later. That's going to be so good. Oh, this can get dirty. This could get absolutely fucking filthy. It's going to be difficult to defend entirely against this attack though. Or not. Got it unlocked, got Rocks and Moxie, and we're rocking brand new Soxies. Clash is going to be really good for this deck as well. 
should probably consider picking that up. Uh, this is probably another seeing red, to be entirely honest with you. And then my priority pickup immediately becomes, since I've got so much mana manipulation in my deck for this early in the game, uh, my priority pickup has now become Pommel Strike. Perfect. Because I already know what my turn needs to be right now. Hell yes. Alright, next turn I can weaken. And that'll actually help me out with a significant amount. Yeah, there's no real reason to weaken this turn. I had no option but to fully defend there. This is why I need Pommel Strike. Also, Pommel Strike will make the Perfected Strike better. It's a Strike card, after all. Ah, some lovely, life-sustaining tea. Not usually a tea man, but... My throat hurts, and coffee aggravates it more than it helps. Some smooth lemon and honey tea. Or the nearest equivalent I have, <clears throat> which is not lemon and honey. It's maple syrup and Earl Grey. And flame once again. Am I going to get my perfected strike in this hand? That'd be ridiculous. Nope. I mean... This is going really well. Like, surprisingly well. And... Hexagos dunks on itself. Alright. Get... What, what do I want? Actually, like, I... This can sound stupid. I really want another offering. Someone up there is looking out for me. I could take that, or I could thin out my deck with an immolate. No, another offering. The whole point of this has got to be go fast. I don't benefit from having curses in my deck, do I at all? No, I don't. Okay, so I don't want cursed key. I might actually just upgrade Bash and Defense and have no defense in my deck. Let's go. No defense whatsoever. Rampage, Inflame, and also Clothesline happens to be there. <laughs> uh, two questions, then a camp. Then a ridiculous amount of questions, and I cut to the center and... Oh, okay. May as well see red here just to make sure that I don't have to get it again later. Okay. Gotta hit that rampage and that heavy blade, but we'll draw first. Beautiful. I need a Pommel Strike and I need more Clashes in this deck. That's exceedingly clear to me. The next hand is going to be Offering and Dazed, sure. My goal is mainly going to be try and kill someone a single turn. Obviously, we're a little far from that at the moment. Evolve? I mean, I can take Evolve without a negative effect on my deck archetype, especially since it's upgraded, I'll take it. I may not have taken it otherwise. It can't be Battle Trance. As much as I want Draw, I can't take a Battle Trance. Um, maybe it's Wild Strike. 
Because it's a strike card. It's a lot of damage. And I already have a... I have a way to benefit from wounds in my deck. It's Wild Strike. Let's actually do a wound build. Let's actually do it. Pass again. Let's inflame. Let's double C red because I know this is all getting played. All right. The first thing that I want to hit with is anything that breaks. In fact, I think I've actually already got the kill. Yeah. See, this is what I'm looking for this deck to do, basically. Just... Oh. No! I... <laughs> it's another perfected strike. I really want it, but I need to metallicize. I, I need some way to defend myself a little, at least. Yeah, this is going to be removing a card from my deck. I really want Art of War and I really want Thread of Needle. No, I really want uh, Tori and Thread of Needle, rather. But can't, so. What was the card I wanted to remove? It was Clothesline. It costs too much and does too little damage to actually be effective in the deck archetype we're going for. I'm going to go for more question marks rather than a boss. Although I could probably take on the boss. Help of Fire Spirits, receive a reward based on my offer. I mean, I don't really have that many more things I want to get out of my deck. I think it's time to give up my final defend. Lift again. My only defense is now those metallicizers. I've got extra decks for all of the decks that I use, which is none. Uh, I kind of want to go Evolve, Perfected, and Heavy. Yeah. Just because I want a heavy draw because I'm up against Sneko. Ooh. Let's offer. Yeah. Go for all that. All right. Uh, the reason I wanted a heavy draw is because I wanted to draw enough cards that it was relatively likely that I got a bunch of cards that were low cost. Unfortunately, I got a bunch of expensive cards uh, instead. It's unfortunate. This deck would l work excellently uh, with Bite. But those bites would take all of the strikes out of my deck, and then I lose the whole point of the goddamn deck, don't I? I kind of want to take one cleave. Yeah, because otherwise I'm going to get wrecked by anything that is uh, distributed enemies. Shovel. Holy shit. Now I have something else to do at campfires. Perfect. Perfect. All right, there's my cleave. Easiest cleave of all time. I take six damage here just to make sure that I can get that on the Gremlin Leader. Okay. I need a Pommel Strike in this deck soon. Thankfully, uh, with the wounds already in my deck, the seeing reds are going to become a lot better. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, that's a lot of wounds. That's a lot of deck. All right. Um, let's to kill you. Let's metallicize. A wild strike there, and you're going to kill yourself. Let's... Yeah. Ah, there's the cleave that I was kind of holding out for that entire time. Blade, cleave, strike, strike, strike. I mean, honestly, this isn't going as bad as I thought it was going to be by this point. 
<clears throat> now I think I actually want to thin the deck way down. Which kind of sucks. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to thin the deck down. At this point, that now demands that I remove... Uh, I remove some strikes, and then I lose the strike idea in this deck. I think I still want to do it, though. I'm definitely taking a zoom. And I'm digging at every campfire I get to. <laughs> Magic flower! Yeah! Give me meat on the bone, and I'm actually going to be... I shouldn't have done that. These aren't who I should be fighting right now. I, I screwed up. Oh, no. I screwed up big, ta uh, big time. I might actually die here. In fact, I'm going to try and protect myself as much as I can. Um, Yeah, no, I should have gone the other route that had two campfires. I could have gotten a trinket easily just by digging at a campfire rather than fighting a boss. It's entirely unnecessary what I've just done. Right, let's evolve. And I'm going to exhume... Ah, I should have done that with the other offering. Damn. That draws the rest of my deck. Put down some more cards. Offering again. There's another perfected strike. Uh, 24 right now. Yikes. Really thought it would do more. Oh, no, I'm weakened, of course. That makes sense. <sighs> I probably have to heal before the boss fight as well, so I guess I'm not digging there. That sucks. Unceasing top. Holy shit. Bludgeon's not that good in this deck. Rage actually is? Rage plus is too good. I have to take it. It Because all I do in a turn is attack. Ridiculously. Well, I mean, all turns pass the first turn, but... I'm still going to be doing a lot of attacking here as well. I'm going to just try and... I mean, it doesn't matter if I put any of them to the ground right now, does it? Huh. So I'm getting uh, 12 armor if I do two attacks and then... Yeah, no, I'm actually entirely defended. I'm safe to do that. I'm just going to let the bird kill itself. Yeah, a lot like that. Let's evolve first, so this might draw more than I thought. This is seeing red. Let's get that offering. Use that offering. Draw the entire rest of my deck. That's not the entire rest of my deck. The hell? I I easily could have killed if I just used the seeing red in off uh, in the correct times there. Both of the wounds down near the bottom of the deck. Alrighty then. I can't take another rage. In fact, none of that appeals to me at all. I really didn't want this fight, but I might actually just ace them. Okay, one. Then I'll exhume it. Two. Uh, 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 uh. And there we go. Animatalicize for good measure. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have to rest at the next camp, and it's going to make me real sad. Okay, Rage has to come first here. Infected. Rampage. Metallicize. Never mind, I totally could have killed if I just used a strike. My bad. Uh, 
Oh well. Kill him. Let me give it health. Clash. Especially an upgraded clash. Fuck! It doesn't work. I have... Clash isn't gonna work. Because I've got wounds in my deck, is why. I screwed up. I screwed that up a lot. <sighs> All right. Deal a lot of damage there. Time to draw my whole deck. Offering, and then I've got an exhumed to get that offering back. Right. I've already got all of the wounds in my hand, so I can pretty much just play out what I want, uh, whatever I want, rather. Whoa, 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 whoa. And offering. Perfected does less than Heavy Blade. I think I actually start removing the Strikes and the Heavy Blade from... Uh, and the Perfected from my deck. Like, an upgraded Heavy Strike is going to do way more for me. Alright. <clears throat> that was a pretty good turn. But it's also worth noting, now I've gone through my entire deck. Uh, at this point, without the... Without the other cards pushing for me, what do I call those other cards again? Got them. Uh, without the offerings, there we go. And the seeing reds, we're gonna have a little bit more trouble uh, here. And now my deck is going to be all wounds. I might actually elixir a lot of the wounds out of my deck right now. I don't know why I played that. There's no reason to have played that. I'm going to drink an energy potion so that I can drop down a bunch more damage. But I'm also going to remove four wounds from my deck right now. Because I, I have other wounds in my deck. I have one. And I'm going to be introducing more, right? So. Okay. Wild Strike Heavy Blade. Pretty damn good. And then I'm getting two wounds. So I'm going to have basically a full hand. If I don't have rage in this hand, and I don't, okay, can I, uh, can I kill you? Nope. Short. Damn. Uh, this is, this is where it ends up. You know the funniest thing? If I didn't misplay rage a couple turns earlier, I would have killed him. Because I would have had just enough damage. So that's... That's a funny thing that's funny as long as you only consider it for a couple of seconds and then don't realize that it means that I fucked up. God damn it! My name is Moon Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slate the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, William. And hopefully we'll see you next time.